quiero verte, quiero ver porque te extraño. Porque te extraño. No me dice nada porque casi ya no hablamos. Ya no hablamos. ¿Dónde estás? Nah. Hablemos del pasado. Del pasado. Solo quiero verte yeah. como cuando nos yeah. amamos. Hey y'all, so it's 8 p.m. right now. I'm getting ready to leave to go home for three weeks. Sorry, I didn't know that was gonna be on the way. But I don't know, you guys. I feel really weird. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna be back in three weeks. But to me, it feels like a really, really big deal. Fuck. Sissy literally didn't leave me no hairbrush. My hair's gonna be all tangled up. But it just feels like I'm gonna be away from home, even though I'm going home, if that makes any sense. Cause college honestly has felt like home. Like it doesn't feel like I'm going away. It doesn't feel like sleepaway camp. Yo girl never got homesick. Like I was literally so happy to be here. So leaving and going home for three weeks just doesn't sound fun. Doesn't sound like I'm gonna enjoy it. But I literally have to go home. There's no way I could stay. Usually colleges would let you stay for like winter housing. But since of COVID-19 and everything, they have to like spray some disinfectant shit. So they're not offering winter housing, but they are offering day term, which is when you will take your winter classes. So they are offering housing for that. And they did allow me and Sissy to stay. So I will be coming back in three weeks instead of the two months that every other college student would take. So yes, college winter break is two months. I told my spam account that and they were like, what the fuck girl, two months? Like I barely got two weeks, three weeks, but I technically only have three weeks cause I do have winter classes. So I'm not gonna be chilling, chilling, but then again, one class is not that much. By the way, if you guys are wondering, I am alone. Sissy went home yesterday because she took her finals the day before that, so she had no reason to be here. Meanwhile, my finals ended today. I actually haven't finished doing one final, so once I go home, I will be doing that and actually finish the semester. And I actually have to turn in my other final at 9 p.m., which I have not turned in. It's kind of done, not really. I'm really nervous. I don't even want to talk about it. So I have to do the rest of my packing. I have to pack my stay-at-home clothes, my YouTube stuff, my makeup, my contacts, my shoes, my going out clothes. Like I literally, I'm in a ton of crunch. I don't know why I left this for last minute, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna show you guys the situation I'm dealing with right now so you guys can get a grasp of it. And because of COVID and everything, we do have to clear out some of the rooms. I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense, but you guys will see in a second what i mean so this is what i'm dealing with it doesn't look that empty at all but you guys look at sissy's bed she literally took off all the sheets of her bed we washed all the sheets and she put her pillows underneath her bed i had to sleep here tonight so i do have sheets these sheets actually go on the chairs but your girl had to do with what she had to do so i just put them on the bed they were actually drying because i put them in the dryer and so they're like really soft they kind of like dried up really ugly so i had to wash them and brush them for them to be this soft again but they look really good now they're freshening clean they smell so good and i also have my sheets down there and my pillows and everything which is actually not a good idea because i actually have to grab jeans and i don't know if you guys could see but the pile is like a lot down there I still have to take some of the products Sissy didn't take in my curling iron. My two computers, I have to take that. And then I have my book bag to fill out. And I also have those bags to fill. And then from here, I have to take my makeup. I was going to wash my makeup brushes and stuff, but I honestly do not have time. So I'll wash them at home. But anyways, you're going to stress. Let's just get to packing. I'm whispering because it's so empty in here. Not in here, but like this whole hall is so quiet that people me so i'm trying to be quiet so the first bag is going to be my everyday things i'm going to take the rest of my sleeping clothes and like my computer and stuff just so i'm not reaching out and taking unnecessary things you know things i don't actually need so for all this will be clothes chargers shorts shorts actually i'm going to put my chargers in here just so they're easier to grab It's literally been a pain in the ass to film like it literally feels like i'm not getting any footage 
of what I'm doing, which is terrible because I really wanted you guys to be part of the process. I'm trying. It's just like I'm trying to hurry up and the angles are not looking right. The lighting's not looking pretty. As long as I don't forget anything, I'll be happy. Definitely gonna take my curler. Definitely, definitely gonna take my curling irons because I really like my hair curled. And the good thing about this curling iron is that it has two attachable curling wands. So I could literally do different types of curls and I don't even have to bring two different curlers. So I'm also going to bring this one because this one's my loose curl wave. And I think that's everything that I have to take for hair. This is to take home and this is for like videos and to take pictures in and to go out in. But I do have to grab jeans, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. This is such a hard choice because I don't even know what jeans I want to wear. Different jeans look good with different outfits, so this is. And they mama leaving, like everybody's leaving, and I'm still here, not even halfway done. So I feel like I don't even have enough time for all this. I also think I said it, but we have like a list of rules we have to follow before we actually like leave to go home. And literally it's so much like we have to clear off the desk, the bookshelves, and literally hours are filled with stuff. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do all that. Like I don't even know where to put it. I'm just freaking out you guys. Like Sissy did help by taking a lot of stuff home, but she definitely could have taken a lot more stuff home by helping me clear it out but i think next thing i'm gonna do is pack up my makeup or oh, actually sh i should do my shoes Ooh. i don't know how many shoes i should take and i'm so dumb i forgot to record it i thought i pressed record but i guess not but i just packed away all my makeup in this little bin it's pretty full but thank god it fit everything because i literally have no idea what i was gonna do with all those stuff but we're also supposed to clear out our desk but i don't know where i'm gonna put all this shit like i literally don't have any space to put this shit away in so i think i'm gonna try to take some of the useless things home like the glasses, like the sunglasses I don't wear on. Let's just put them there for now. I still have to take the things on top. I'm pretty sure I'm going to pack away all the necklaces because they have no business being there. I'm going to take those purses home. The thing is, I literally don't even have space to put in, like, extra shit. Like, literally all my things that I have to carry stuff are being used. And I also still have to pack away my ring light. I have to make sure not to forget keys or anything because Sissy did forget keys. Oh, my God. There's still shit on the bed clear out this desk as well there's a lot of shit underneath the bed though which was fine they said that if you don't want anything sprayed with the disinfectant to put it underneath the bed i do think this is a lot of things underneath the bed but at least everything fit um a lot of things are here as well but i think that's fine it's just so so weird to see this empty feels like i'm moving out even though i am not you know but now i'm gonna clear this out and I also did find another bag, and this one's just full of books and stuff, and like books for first semester, which we will not need for second semester, just because we will have different classes and stuff. I'm also gonna put my shoes that I use up, that I want to take in here, just because they're like hard stuff. Hopefully, they don't get bent. So so far, I have three bags. I have to throw away some of the milk, some of the snacks that expired. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys this cute little setup. Sissy found the pictures of the cats and she set them up. We don't have a picture of Berlin. But hopefully, 
we get one printed for second semester that we can put somewhere else. And I also have to unplug everything but the fridge. So I also have to do that. My dad just texted me and told me he'll be here in half an hour. So let's get this done before the half an hour is over. And I think I'm going to leave the f memory gel foam shit right there. These are just so the beds are more comfortable. They turn yellow. I don't know why. I promise it's not piss. I just want coffee. I literally just want coffee, but I really need to start drinking more water. So I have a water bottle right there that I'm trying to finish. So I'm home now. I literally got home like 30 minutes ago. And I didn't even film the room right after I left. Like literally my dad got here. And we just had to put everything in the car. So I didn't film anything. I really apologize. The room basically looked the same as when I last filmed it, you know. But now I have to finish my FYS paper, which is due at 12 it's 10 47 right now so i literally have like an hour and 10 minutes i'm just not having a good time right now to be honest i want to cry but at least i could say i have two pages out of four pages that's the minimum so at least i have something to work on i mean to work with let me show you guys so this is what i have right now two pages and i have a little man right here trying to eat my paper you little cute fuck. You little cute fuck. Yeah, you cute fuck. He's like, bitch, shut up. That's what you got this whole final to do. So cute, look at him. Oh, conky and shit. Hi Berlin. Little Berlin and me touch him, huh? Berlin be nice boy. Berlin be nice boy. Yeah, Berlin be nice boy. Anyways, y'all. I am at three pages now. More like two and a half. Cause the work side it doesn't count. Is he eleven? Oh six. I think I can do it. I just don't know what else to write. Like literally I'm struggling to know what to write. But this shit gonna get done regardless. I promise you that. Berlin, no, don't bother him. No, be good boy. Oh, Googie, don't just wanna rest. Berlin got stuck for a second. Oh, the baby yawning. Berlin's like, let me get in there. Let me get in one hour later and i'm so happy to say that i finished all of it it's literally barely four pages like it's only five pages because of this little bit and then it's my work cited so i'm so happy i can finally say i am done with first semester period hopefully i got a good grade on it i don't think i will but Gugita's still in his little box he's sleeping i feel really bad because i cannot be comfortable but anyways, the girl is tired. I've been up since 10 a.m. I'm gonna go to sleep, y'all. I'm done for tonight. Literally done. I'm drained. I'm probably gonna go on TikTok and then go to sleep. But I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. So I literally just woke up. Well, I didn't just wake up, to be honest. I woke up like two hours ago. I went to bed at 6 a.m., y'all. Like, what the freak? I don't know what the fuck I was up doing. Like, I had no business of being that late. I don't even wake up that late. Like, when i wake up i don't even go to sleep that late ever like the latest i've gone to sleep recently is like maybe 1 a.m i've been going to sleep like at 12 or 1 a.m and the latest i wake up is 9 and i woke up at 11 today but thank god i don't have school so i don't have nothing to worry about it no guilt in my body at all i did wake up with a little bit of a headache so that's not fun but i'm currently gonna eat tamales my dad brought them for us this morning and since he left at 9 a.m., they're cold, so I have to reheat them. But no problem, because I left my tamales crunchy once they are reheated. But I think I'm going to wash my makeup brushes today, get ready, take pictures, maybe film. I'm feeling really productive. I'm feeling really good. I'm just ready to get shit done. And I haven't even brushed my face or brushed, I mean, washed my face or brushed my teeth. So 
my bad. So I brushed my teeth and everything and yesterday when I came home, well actually before I came home, I knew that a package got here from my friend Andrea, she's also a supporter, but like, I don't really call her a supporter because she's like my friend, but she sent me a package for Christmas for me and Jennifer and for the cats, like she's honestly the sweetest person ever. She sent me a candle with the cat's picture in it, it says their name and everything. It smells so, so good. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of smells like men cologne, and I love men cologne, so I'm not complaining. And it also came in this cute little box with this ribbon around it with the cat's picture in it. This is so, so, so cute. And the best part about it is that it comes with a card, and the card is super cute and super funny. It says, I'm way behind schedule. There are boxes to sit on, wrapping paper to lie on, and I haven't even knocked down the tree yet. And another cat, like the holidays are so stressful. But the best thing about these candles are that they're helping shelters. They're made in the USA. Um, the one thing that got to me the most is that they help the shelters. So the fact that it's not only a thoughtful gift, it's not only a gift that I love, but it's also helping other animals. And it just really shows how much she put a thought into it. You know, like this is so, so, so sweet. Not only that, but she also got my cat's two blankets. I don't know if you guys can see them right there. We put them on the table because they like laying on it. And she also got the cat's treats and she also got us two puff balls for our keychains. So I will enter a picture of everything because I don't have everything right here right now. But I just want to show you guys what a cute gift. And if you guys want to gift this to somebody or get yourself a candle to help out the shelf the shelter or something it's called my pet candle.com and there's honestly the sweetest she has a kitten of her own it's honestly the sweetest cutest little black and white kitten ever so i just want to say thank you so much to Andrea, and i wanted to show you guys the gifts like i'm so happy i showed my dad and he was smiling he was like oh my god that's so cute and the cats love the blankets they have literally been laying on them all freaking day so i'm really grateful i'm really excited the only thing is that you cannot have candles in your dorm so I'm not going to be able to take this back to my dorm. Like, even if they're not lit, you're not able to have them in your dorm. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the box and use it for something else. Or maybe I'll burn the candle and then keep just the glass and, like, put something inside of it. I don't know yet, but I will for sure try to take that to my dorm because it's honestly so, so cute. But anyways, now what I think I'm going to do is try to settle in. And I know I'm only staying here for three weeks, but I do want to film and make videos and stuff. So, you know, I want to feel like the space is comfortable i don't know if i'm making any sense but i'm a little bit tired still but we'll just have to see what really happens because for all we know i will be laying in bed all freaking day watching Grey's anatomy so we'll see hey y'all so i don't know what day it is now well i do know what day it is today is saturday the time i moved out was thursday night so friday passed i didn't record anything after friday because i literally didn't do shit i literally just laid in bed i actually had a pretty hard day yesterday like i just wasn't feeling good i was just kind of being too hard on myself so today i'm making it a priority to do something productive and like actually be happy i guess but what i'm doing now is cleaning my room oh my god it's so overwhelming because like what i have in here i don't even use like i don't even like i didn't take it to my room for a reason so it's just oh my fucking god these fucking cats so it's just very hard to make room for the things i want and then also i don't want to put stuff away because then i'm also going to want to take them back to home y'all this motherfucker climb all the way down there you knowing he's too damn fucking fat you're too fat. What if you would have gotten stuck? Berlin, somewhere in there. But anyway, since we left, we actually put up this cat tree right here. And we put the litter box. And this room's already a box, literally. So this is taking a lot of space. Like, a ton of space. Like, this room is literally a fucking egg. You can literally see it all through that one mirror. So what we can do is limited. Literally, it's my third day here. Not my third day. My second day here. And I'm going crazy just not doing anything. And there goes Berlin. Do y'all remember when he was a baby? Like when he was little. I remember I showed him and I get ready with me. And then after that, I showed him in my moving out video. And I don't think you guys saw much of him. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't really know. But yep, mommy of three kitties. And he's a big boy. He's like six months, I think. 
he's really bougie and he doesn't like being touched and he thinks he's the boss of everybody he's actually my dad's favorite oh look at the baby I'll get back to you guys. So she's getting her hair done. So I'll show you guys that. I record her getting her hair done. She's going like a blondish, like brown type of look. She actually had her first session like last week, I think. So you guys missed that. And I don't know. Today I'm going to try to vlog. Today I'm going to try to actually get content for you guys. Because I actually want this video to be kind of fun. I want to remember my winter breaky a little bit, you know. Yes, I've been wearing the same pajamas for like freaking days but you know what who the fuck cares he's so fucking bad literally the definition of bad as fuck he trying to he keeps trying to take down that mirror knowing if that shit falls it's over for him for the mirror for everybody because my mom not gonna have it look at his dirty fucking ass oh my god so i didn't even get shit done but ran on the way to the post office to drop off packages that i have for some of you guys i did sell my clothes in my spam account and some people actually bought them so i have to go ship them out hopefully it gets there before christmas that'll be such a nice gift but anyways this is how i'm going to the hair salon i'm wearing my little penguin onesie i only wore this once in high school look at this motherfucker so we're up now. I'm sorry the quality is literally booty as hell, but we just dropped off Sissy. Sissy's gonna be at the hair salon while we went to go while we go to go get Starbucks. I am so happy, y'all. Literally at school, I will get a caramel macchiato with extra caramel every single freaking day, and I haven't had it for like a day. And I was literally going crazy yesterday, so I'm so happy to get my Starbucks. The Starbucks is like 10 minutes away, but like it's kind of far. I feel really bad making my mom drive there, but. But anyways, I'm sorry this video is like so boring. Like I feel like it's like so boring. But at least I'll get to look back on it. Does that make sense? I hope you guys enjoy these chill videos. This is literally where my life is so boring. And people were like, can you do vlogmas? I'm like, like I can't even do an interesting video showing my whole week. Let alone just a day. Hey y'all, so it's the day after Sissy went to go get her hair done. I left y'all with saying that I was gonna go get Starbucks and that I was gonna film at Sissy's hair appointment. But you know what? There was this one bitch looking at me and it just completely ruined my mood. My mom ruined my mood on the way to Starbucks so I did not film after that. And then after today, today I hang out with my friend and I forgot to film. So now I'm updating you guys and it's, what day is it? Sunday night? And me and Sissy are going to do our makeup to film and do gingerbread houses, which you guys will see that video soon. So I'm going to do a makeup, I mean a time lapse of me doing my makeup. And I didn't even clean the room because my brother was so kind enough to clean the room for us. Ten the fucking lord. So now we have room. It feels livable. It feels nice. But anyways, if you guys want to watch the time, I mean the time lapse of me doing my makeup, then feel free to do so. And I'll probably film with Sissy a little bit after. Cause you know she's gonna look pretty and she's gonna feel confident to be in the video because trust me y'all she do not want to be in the video because she said she looks too ugly i did not say that you did say that you're like you better not fucking put me in that but video ugly. <laughs> well why else would he want to be in the video but anyways i don't have a mirror so i'm stuck doing a mirror with this shit like this shit ugly <laughs> this shit is so fucking ugly you dude you like, bro like i'm gonna do my makeup in the dark and no look at the mirror sissy's using and look at the shit i'm using why one of my eyes bigger than other ones? I didn't even clean my makeup brushes, y'all. Look at this dirty shit, but I'm about to use them anyways. Because who not clean them right now? Not me. Anyway, and also look at look at look at this for a real shade. Look at how much I ate. Two double layers. Only 13 bucks. My friend Antonio gave these to me. 13 bucks? You think? Anyways, I think today I wanna wear big links, so I don't think I'm gonna wear these. I only wear these once and I really like them. But anyways. Brought the motherfucking channels. Oh, and I have to turn on the right now. But then I have to set that motherfucker up. Oh, but I have to anyways for the video. Y'all, look at my fucking eyebrows. I'm recording on Sissy's booty ass iPhone 6, so the camera might look like so ugly. But I'm gonna conceal them, try to make them look nice. Literally, the lighting in here is horrible. And for some reason, Sissy wants the ring light pointing the, se the other way. Like, how does that help with the lighting? I don't understand. But. If I can make this shit look good, like, certify me as a makeup artist already, like, <laughs> I think I can clean them up nice. Let's see. Let's see. Like, literally, ooh. Look at my ghetto ass setup. I have this holding up the mirror. I need to conceal my sister. Ew, you better cut that. You better cut that. 
can and stop getting your shit on the face if you want me to cross. I'm gonna need some of these because this shit needs to be concealed, concealed. My eyebrows look so bad, bro. Oh you have the good mirror and the lighting closest to you. There's no reason why your eyebrows should look. Where's that eyebrow brush? That at back. What is the best? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're on our way to the post office. Me and Sissy filmed yesterday and we actually uploaded the video today. <laughs> and we're with Jasmine. We Hi. haven't seen her in so long. Jasmine got her shit together. Oh yeah, she's she a got working, educated balling, balling on the budget. <laughs> Jasmine in high school fools her because now she wait, rich. Wait, wait, do that. I want everything expensive, everything <laughs> bougie. <laughs> Shop at Ross. <laughs> yeah, she works at Ross, and I'm so proud of her. Uh, Y'all cannot compete. But anyways, we're on our way to the post office, and then we're gonna go get Starbucks once again. But anyways, catch you guys there. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I'm never gonna go here on me or even see me, but we're at the tree lighting and honestly, yeah, this cold shit, as fuck. It's, like, it's, cold. <laughs> it's cold as fuck, people are rude. Dude, tell me, tell them the story, bitch, tell them the fucking story. Okay, so we were trying to take pictures, right? And we didn't even see the line, literally there was like only one person in line, so I thought they were just like looking at the tree. And then they tell Sissy, talking about some... Ma'am, there's a line. Bitch, there's one person standing there. That's not a line. A line is more than one person. So that just ruined the whole night. I think it was just a tone of voice for me. Like, if you would have said it in a nice way, I wouldn't have mine. But the attitude was not needed to tell me there was a line. Like, this is my first time coming to the fucking tree. I didn't know there was a line. But anyways, it's cold as hell. My hands are freezing. Looks like I'm going to Antarctica. Would I come back? No. This shit overrated. Overrated as fuck. So we're back home and we ate Ooh. and Dustin's about to leave. I'm so sad. What's up about to leave? <laughs> well, when my dad gets here, he's gonna get here soon. Are you kicking me out, bitch? No, bitch. You can sleep over if you want. <laughs> I don't want to sleep she over. She never sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never sleep over with your cat. Um, I haven't talked to y'all in a really long time. What's so, up? But how you do? I know y'all see me with the same shirt since high school. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, bitch. What have I doing? I haven't, oh, I haven't seen these two in like five months, bro. Yeah. I just been hustling, you know. Get your braid up. Get your braid up. Um, <laughs> go, shop call, go shop at Ross. A, a Ross. I know if you've seen this, dude. Pay up. I need ten more bucks in my paycheck. <laughs> uh, what else? I've been in college. I didn't leave like they did. Um, I live with my mom. Yes, bitch. I don't pay rent, but actually, she I do pay. Rent. I pay a hundred dollars. <laughs> Oh, what else? I don't know, bitch. I've just been hustling, whatever. College is not that bad. Let me tell you about my little experience or whatever. I, I, if my teachers are watching this, exit okay. out right I now. I exit out right now because I know I did not do any fucking milestones, bitch. Um, <laughs> if we did it, whatever. I'm majoring in criminal justice, homicide detective over here. If if, if the police of the Chicago police station is watching <laughs> this right now, offer me a job, bro. I'm real good, you know. I could find anybody on Facebook. How much I did to with the book? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was like really random, so I'm sorry about that. But I don't know if you guys want more blogs, let me know. But I'm not doing no daily blogging. Like I'm gonna do weekly vlogs like this that are pointless. <laughs> but anyways, love you guys. Catch you out beautiful faces in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, hey.